Hi, welcome back. Uh, if you're like me, too many radios. And again, if you're like me and don't like to program on the little keypads because they're kind of small, can't enter labels, can't put names to your memories, or uh, you don't like to use a computer, or you don't have a cable. Any one of these things are possible. But, hey, don't give up. As long as you have a smartphone, you can always get the TID Radio Portable Bluetooth Cordless Programmer for many of your radios. Let's take a look. So before we go any further, let me just point out that TID Radio sent me this programmer to test and do a review on it. And quite honestly, I do a very straightforward review. I tell it like it is. So I know TID Radio is paying attention because they have been listening to me before, especially when I did the review um, on the TDH8, which I'll have a link below. And um, they're very cooperative. They do listen. So I know they're working things out. So it comes in this little teeny tiny box. It's a little programmer. It comes with the manual. And then you get the actual programmer itself and a USB-C cable to connect and charge the module. So let's dig into this and let's see what we're getting. So first things first, I'd like to congratulate TID Radio on their manuals. It was the same on the radios and I find this to be the same even on the little programmer. Their manuals are actually quite well written. They're graphic, they have lots of pictures, lots of explanations, and very clear about how to use their product. And that's nice because we've seen so many radios that come with these little poorly printed manuals or written very poorly in Chinglish and nobody understands what's going on. So this is already one step in the right direction as far as they're concerned. This regards their app, the Oddmaster app, that you can run on your phone, um, whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone. We'll delve a little deeper into that a little bit later, so follow on. There has been some controversy about the application that you run on your phone for this little device. It's called the OD Master. Now, the OD Master is just the application for programming that allows you to do changes to your phone, whether it's a UV5R or one of the many many phones that are listed in the program. There's been some controversy about this because you kinda have to log in and they do ask you for your location. I know a lot of people have complained about that, talked about spying and stuff like that. It's nothing of the sort really and even if they do, I mean think about it, you log into so many things, you log into so many accounts. Uh, if you don't think your information is out there, well you need a wake-up call. Truth be told is they really just ask you for your location because they do pull up repeaters in your area, which is kind of interesting. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. So basically the way we're going to use this is in lieu of a cable, we're going to take this little device and we're going to hook it up to our radio. We turn on the radio and then you turn on the little device. It's got a little teeny tiny little button here that you will press. When you turn it on, a little blue light comes on to let you know it's working. Get your phone. You will select your model. In this particular case, it's a Baofeng UV5R. I'm just going to put old firmware. Connect the Bluetooth. Select it. And once the Bluetooth is connected, you just read. And you can see right there, it is reading off the phone. The little blue light is flashing. The little red light is flashing, which would have been the same thing if you were using a cable and there's your information on your channels you can go to any channel you want you got the receive frequency you got the transmit frequency all the settings you want to do you can also change functions uh, for your radio by just going to function right here and then you can change other settings like display settings and so on and so forth when doing the channels you can go to the very bottom and you can actually put a label which you cannot do on the keypad on most of these little radios but you can do it right here 
Once you're done with all this, you can actually save it. Now I'm not going to click save because I've already saved this information. I don't want to change it. But you can save it and then you would have this information accessible, which means that you can actually transfer it to a different radio if you wanted to. Now one other nice uh, feature about this that I do kind of like is that you can actually get to the OD Master app on your computer. Now your phone still has to be connected to the radio, but you can get on the computer and pull it up. And that's another one of the reasons you log in so that you can have access that way as well. And then you can actually do all your programming on the computer. And once you do, that's a lot easier obviously to work on the computer with a large key keyboard rather than doing it on your phone. But once you do that, you can transfer it to your phone and then obviously from the phone back to your radio. So again, that's a plus in that direction. Now one nice thing is you can see there's several models here. This is just one listing for Baofangs, but if you go back, you've got settings for TID Radio, TID, Tenway, Radio Oddity, Redivis, uh, Rugged, a lot, Louiton, a lot of different radios. And they are constantly adding to this, so they're always putting more models and doing certain things. Now one thing I did find which is interesting, um, they do have a setting for the UV13 and the UV13 Pro, the GM15, which are actually ones you cannot find on Chirp. But, unfortunately, I have a UV13 version 2, or otherwise referred as the Pro. Actually, I have a couple of them. But, they will not work with this. Every time it tries to read, it crashes. So, I'm not sure. It's, it is in beta. It says that it's in beta. So, I don't know if that's the case or not. Hopefully that will correct soon because it would be nice to be able to program these radios that way rather than use the CPS that we've been using. So, we'll see what happens with that. Now, for some inexplicable reason, um, the program works very well on my iPhone but will not work well on an Android phone I have. It could just be the Android software that I have on my phone that's kind of doing something to it or a quirky phone. This is just a backup phone that I have that I don't very often use. I use my iPhone, so that might be the thing. However, something really weird is I have a small uh, Android tablet that I sometimes use, and I couldn't even download the app on this device at all. It told me that it wasn't compatible even though this is an Android device. It said it was not compatible so hmm, I'm not too sure about that. But it does work on my iPhone so I don't have a problem. It's It, it works and it works pretty well. So pretty much TID Radio Bluetooth Programmer the TD-BL-1 with the Oddmaster app. Is it uh, a good solution? Is it a workable solution? Definitely a workable solution. I think it works. It works reasonably well. Can it be improved? Uh, most certainly there's a lot of features that need to be improved on it. And I have faith in, in, in TID Radio actually working. Their team is actually working on it. It's a very good idea. It can be implemented a little bit better. Um, some things have to be improved on it once done. I think it'll be a very, very good solution. Right now, um, as far as the Odd Master app is concerned, I really wouldn't worry. If you don't want to give your information or your own email, you can always just uh, create another email and just hook up to it because that way you can save and use the full features of the package. If you don't log in, then you can still use the application, but you're not going to be able to take full features to full advantage of all the features that this thing can offer you. So I don't think it's a problem. And again, when um, basically when you're logging in if you do give them a location it pulls up repeaters for you um, that way you can just pull them in and program them into the radio that's that's it's kind of a nice feature you don't have to go to a repeater book or anything like that and look for them if you don't know and you're in a different area you just pull it right up on your phone it'll pull down repeaters and you can save them and that way you can use them so I think that's okay I don't I don't really see a major problem with that uh, currently this is available on Amazon for less than $25 and I think they have a discount coupon as well so it costs around $20 or a little bit more than $20. I'll have an affiliate link below so you can find it. 
Um, do I recommend it? Yeah, I, I think it's worth it. If you don't want to work with cables, you don't want to work with computers, this is a good solution that will work for you. So give it a shot. Remember, if you buy from Amazon and you don't like it, you can always return it anyway. So, But I don't think you will. I think you'll keep it. So that's it for today, folks. Uh, just a pretty much short, quick review on, on this little device. Uh, thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, please do subscribe. You're welcome to leave comments. I try to respond to all comments pretty much at all times. If you like the video, you can leave me a, a thank you or super thanks, or you can buy me a coffee below as well in the description. It helps the channel. Uh, a lot of the time I have to buy this stuff myself, so it certainly helps out. Well, thanks for watching.